text on the screen says, did you know that 1.3 billion or one in seven people have a disability? Monica, a WFP staff member, sits at a table in a cafe with Pratima, a disability advocate. Monica and Pratima greet each other. Namaste Pratima, how are you? Namaste, I'm good. How are you, Monica? I'm good. Ashani, a WFP staff member, sits at another table in a cafe with Ishan, a disability advocate. Ashani speaks. This is my first time, you know, talking to a person with a disability. Fausto, a third WFP staff member, sits at a table in a cafe with Nunu, a disability advocate. Fausto speaks. In my life, I've not really had a chance to interact much uh, with people with disabilities. The text on the screen says our perceptions of people with disabilities matter. They play an important role in either perpetuating or breaking down barriers to equitable inclusion. Ishan speaks to Ishani. Well, this is your chance, so you can ask me anything. Fausto asks a question which both Ishan and Nunu answer. Would you mind if I asked you about your disability? Not at all. I'm actually the first born blind person in the world to do competitive rowing. Well, it's a neurodevelopmental disability. It cannot be cured. Text on the screen says WFP is committed to including people with disabilities in all aspects of our work. We got staff together with disability advocates to listen and understand. Ishan asks a question. So why are people reluctant to engage in conversations about disability? Monica answers it with Pratima listening attentively to what Monica is saying. Uh, we try to be overprotective. We mm -hmm. try to be overly modest mm -hmm. uh, when talking to a person with disability. Uh, we try to make them feel that they are inspirational role models. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and by doing that, I think we create a barrier. Yeah. Fausto asks Nunu a question which he answers. Uh, did you ever feel uh, left out because of a disability? Of course. Being children with autism is something that you are always be left out. Ishan then shares some personal experience. I used to get into the bus with my dad and, you know, someone would just ask, oh, what has happened to this child? Is he blind since birth? Can we do something for him? And my dad would be, like, embarrassed and, you know, he wouldn't know what exactly to say. Text on the screen says many people with disabilities face barriers that prevent them from participating on an equal basis. Ishan, Nunu and Pratima respond in turn to the text shown on screen. The biggest barrier, I would say, still for all, is attitudes. I have Bachelor of Music in Music Education and Pedagogy. Even though that I, that I have specialized degree like this, it's still hard to get a job. If you look at the whole uh, the disability discourse, mm -hmm. any person can be disabled any time, in any moment, in any age. For example, I lost my hand when I was seven years old. So before that, I was not a person with disabilities. Who knows? Ishani asks a question which Nunu, Ishan and Pratima answer in turn before Fausto answers from an able-bodied person's perspective. What's most important to you? Don't see me as a person with disabilities or just like what you did right now. Don't see me as a... I am a person with autism or special needs or whatever. I am just a person, you know. Just another human being. Disability is not inability. So the most important thing for me personally and also uh, as far as the disabled community is concerned, we need the opportunities so that we can show who we really are. For us, what we realize is uh, the disability has to be a social issue. But uh, right now, in our context, we see that the issue of person with disabilities has to be advocated by person with disabilities. It's not taken as a social responsibility. I think it's important to, to counter that stigma. Uh, it's important to challenge that stigma. It's important to expose other people to the stories. Ishan and Nunu ask questions one after the other to Ishani and Fausto respectively. Ishani and Fausto answer their respective questions and Ishan can be heard interacting with Ishani as she answers him. Has this changed anything for you? Has this conversation changed anything? Uh, yes, I would say so. Um, I Well, you would have noticed um, from the way I was speaking that I was really awkward at the beginning. Well, yeah, it sounded uh, a bit, you know, <laughs> yeah. Has changed. <laughs> It's yes. making me laugh instead of making me nervous. <laughs> Monica asks a question which Ishan answers. 
Shall we take a selfie together? Why not? Like even though I can't see, I certainly love to be like pose for selfies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nunu takes a selfie of herself and Fausto, and they're both smiling. Smile. Ashani takes a selfie of herself and Ishan. Monica reaches for her phone to show Pratima a picture. Can I show you yeah. my kitchen garden? Nunu asks Fausto a question, after which they both laugh. Do you still feel awkward? <laughs> Ashani and Ishan can also be seen laughing. Absolutely not. <laughs> Fausto asks Nunu a question, which she answers. Do you think that having conversations like this is important, uh, and why? Yeah, I think it's important because all the big steps are begin with the small steps. Text on the screen says disability inclusion starts with a conversation. Hashtag nothing about us without us. We see an image of Monica and Pratima smiling at each other. We then see an image of Ishani and Ishan smiling at each other. Finally, we see an image of Fausto and Nunu smiling at each other. The film ends with the World Food Programme logo being displayed on screen.